considered one of the great English writers. Joseph Rudyard Kipling was born on 30th December 1865 in Bombay, India. At the time of his birth, his parents, John and Alice, were recent arrivals in India. They had come, like so many of their countrymen, with plans to start new lives and to help the British government run the continent. The family lived well and Kipling was especially close to his mother. His father, an artist, was the head of the Department of Architectural Sculpture at G.G. Boy School of Art in Mumbai. For Kipling, India was a wondrous place. Along with his younger sister Alice, he revealed in exploring the local markets with his nanny. He learned the language and in this bustling city of Anglos, Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists and Jews, Kipling fell in love with the country and its culture. However, at the age of six, Kipling's life was torn apart when his mother wanting her son to receive a formal British education and she sent him to South Sea England where he attended school and lived with a foster family named Holloways. These were hard days for Kipling. Mrs. Holloway was a brutal woman who quickly grew to despise her young foster son. She beat and bullied Kipling who also struggled to fit in at school. His only break from Holloways came in December when Kipling who told nobody of his problems at school or with his foster parents, traveled to London where he stayed with relatives for the month. Kipling's solace came in books and stories. In 1882, Kipling was told by his parents that they didn't have enough money to send him to college. Instead, they had him return to India. It was a powerful moment in the young writer's life. The sights and sounds, even the language which he had believed he would have forgotten, rushed back to him upon his arrival. Kipling's experiences during this time formed the backbone for the series of the stories he began to write and publish. They were eventually assembled into a collection of 40 short stories called Clean Tales from the Hills, which gained wide popularity in England. Kipling's friendship with Ballastier changed the young writer's life. He soon got to know Ballastier's family, in particular his sister Carrie. The two appeared to be just friends, but during the Christmas holiday in 1891, Kipling, who had traveled back to India to see his family, received an urgent cable from Carrie, in which she mentioned that one of her family members died suddenly of typhoid fever and Carrie needed Kipling to be with her. Kipling rushed back to England and within eight days of his return, the two married at a small ceremony attended by American writer Henry James. As a writer, Kipling flourished. His work during this time included The Jungle Book, The Nolakha, A Story of West and East and The Second Jungle Book. Kipling was delighted to be around children, a characteristic that was apparent in his writing. His tales enchanted boys and girls all over the English-speaking world. By the age of 32, Kipling was the highest paid writer in the world. In 1902, the Kiplings bought a large estate in Sussex known as Batemans, where he dedicated as ever to his writing something Carrie helped them show. Adopting the role of the head of the household, she held reporters at bay when they call in and was the person in the family who issued directions to both staff and children. Kipling's books during his years at Batemans included Puck of Puck's Hill, Actions and Reactions, Debts and Credits, Thy Servant a Dog, and limits and renewals. The same year he purchased Batemans, Kipling also published one of his another book, Just So Stories, which were greeted with wide acclaim. While Kipling continued to write for the next two decades, 
He never again returned to the bright, cheery children's tale he had once so delighted in crafting. And health issues eventually caught up to both Kipling and Carey, the result of age but also of grief. Over the last few years, Kipling suffered from a painful ulcer that eventually took his life on 18th January 1936. Kipling's ashes were buried in Westminster Abbey in Poets' Corner next to the graves of Thomas Hardy and Charles Dickens. Thank you for watching Edupedia World. Please subscribe to watch more videos.